the broken Sylvia. Next video where is full of fails, just fails, fails, fails. But it's it's slowly coming to an end. Welcome back to another episode of Broken Sylvia. My name is Damien and before we continue I'd like to say that I probably could have made a 45 minute episode of us just trying to wrestle that gearbox in. We could not do it while the clutch was on so we even tried loosening the engine so the engine mount so the engine could tilt back a bit against the firewall. Obviously we had a rag in between the engine and the firewall so it wouldn't scratch but we tried everything we could and we just could not get the gearbox onto the engine which meant one thing the engine had to be pulled out again. Well there you have it, just like Danny said, it's a waste of time trying to put the gearbox and the engine in separately. If your car's a rolling shell, just like mine, connect that gearbox to the engine while it's out of the car and just slide it in. An SR20, probably an LS as well, should be quite an easy task to do because it's a shorter engine. I was a bit scared with the RB25 because it's a really long combo along with the gearbox and I was scared that I was going to end up scratching the engine bay I spent so much time on trying to shave and make look nice and stuff. So yeah, it's finally in the engine bay and we're not planning on taking it out anytime soon. Finally.
So as you guys can see, not everything always goes to plan. There are a lot of things on the way that I didn't show where we were failing, but finally I decided to start including things that, um, that we did wrong because the more mistakes you make, the better you're gonna get at doing things. So I might as well show you guys so you guys don't make the same mistakes. The, the rear subframe, that's probably the third time I've had to pull it out and I think it's the first time I've genuinely showed it on camera. So there's a heat shield that goes between the fuel tank and the subframe. Forgot to put it in, subframe has to come out again. But that's all sorted now, so we'll continue. Yeah, we don't always use our brains around here. So step one is put gloves on before you go using fiberglass heat wrapping on your dump pipe. Otherwise it's gonna get stuck in your skin and you're gonna have to use cold water to try get it out. Well, that's what Google said at least. So we'll see how it goes. Have you spoken to the old owner of this car at all? Not really. I've sent him a few photos here and there. So what do you reckon you send it? I just send it. I reckon you go back a bit. Move. Shut the door.
So there you have it people, the broken Sylvia is finally at home. It's been a long 12 months, it's been a long process. I do admit I've gone full retard and I'm happy I went full retard because it's taught me a lot of things on the way. It's made me believe I can do things that I've never done before, like shaving an engine bay, slowly learn how to weld, uh, underbody protecting the car. I've pretty much pulled off every nut and bolt on the exterior of this car. I painted it myself. It's come a long, long way and it's not running yet, so I can't say, oh, it's worth every penny, but I think it, I think it will be, especially with this YouTube channel growing as well. People are really liking the videos and it's motivating me to push out more content and keep building these cars. So if you like what you see, consider subscribing and thank you to everybody that's been following the build from the start and messaging me or leaving comments. So thank you very much. Now, I almost forgot the most important thing of all, and that is to thank Danny and his dad for letting me use the workshop for the last 12 months. They handed me a key, they welcomed me, they said you can go in there whenever you want. They didn't charge me a cent for rent, they let me use all their tools, their equipment, whatever I needed, they were there and they allowed me to do so. Now you guys might see on camera that it's just pretty much a one man team wrenching on the cars and stuff like that. And that's fair enough, and it is most of the time like that. But there are a lot of surrounding factors which allow me to work in the car. For example, the workshop. If it wasn't for the workshop, there would be for no videos. Where was I going to Where was I going to work in the cars? I can't work in the garage because the neighbours would probably complain where I live right now. But same as the trailer, for example. Towing the cars back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's not our trailer. It's Scott's trailer. There are a lot of people that. That, that you don't usually see on the channel that help out so I can actually make these videos. So anybody that helped, you know who you are. Thank you very much for your help and I'm really happy with the Sylvia has gone and that it's almost finished. So yeah, thank you very much.